indeed it is much larger and a far more important matter beyond routine procedures and checks or sheer entry and exit of people and their goods through air and seaports and ensure uh, that we go beyond this in addressing the crimes and challenges uh, that come uh, with it. I make haste to add uh, that the growing use of our ports, um, the security of our ports, the enforcement of um, high safety and quality standards by port officials, the efficiency, cost effectiveness, and the evident success of our procedures in supporting business should be our priority. In addition, other than that, we also need to look at ensuring that we are able to effectively check any crime that is committed through the use of our ports and services related thereto. As you are all aware, Kenya is a gateway uh, for trade in the East and Central African region. Uh, with its ports of entry handling massive amounts of imports and exports. Indeed, a significant percentage of exports and import commodities originate and or are destined to countries within the region uh, uh, when they come through our ports. Our continent, our container traffic, sorry, in the port of Mombasa alone, uh, for example, has increased by about 10% last year and transport of cargo to other countries uh, was up by about 136.8% in the same year. The port handled about 34 million tons uh, of uh, throughput cargo, uh, which is a sharp increase from 28.5 million uh, tons in 2018. When you have all these uh, businesses and the cargo moving through our ports and our area, it comes with some of the problems that we have highlighted, uh, movement of uh, counterfeit goods and services. For example, one, movement of fake medicines. Uh, we've had so many cases, I can't enumerate all of them, uh, of movement of uh, uh, fake uh, medicines across this region. Secondly, wildlife and forestry products moving illegally alongside this. Thirdly, human trafficking which has been uh, a challenge in some cases because true, uh, truth be told, an ambassador came to see me about a week ago uh, from one of our uh, partner countries specifically to raise this issue with me, to tell me that uh, we now need to pay attention as a country to the level of possible activities of human trafficking that will be going on uh, through uh, uh, our borders. And, and as we go along, I could go on and on in enumerating uh, the challenges that come with this. Now, as my colleagues, the previous speakers, have said, the problem is that if you do not know your customers and you do not know those who are trading around, it is very difficult to trace some of these uh, activities. Needless to say that uh, there is also the challenge of moving or movement of illegal arms. Uh, across uh, our ports. In this country, we have had serious issues recently uh, with the number of uh, illegal arms in illegal hands. For the first time, uh, two months ago, we banned uh, about 8,000 uh, illegal firearms in illegal hands, and you cannot believe it, over 300,000 uh, you know, uh, illegal uh, ammunitions, of course, uh, in illegal hands. Uh, what is surprising, and that is uh, uh, what I will shock you with, we are about to prepare to ban another pile of thousands of guns, because it's only two months ago that we banned 8,000, and about 300,000 uh, uh, bullets. We have been piling, because we have been actively moving around, collecting and mopping up illegal firearms. We have been another two months, we'll be burning probably another five to six thousand, uh, as it were. We cannot, as a country, spend our time, uh, you know, uh, collecting illegal firearms and burning illegal firearms uh, that are finding their way here. Those are the ones that we collect. What about those that are moving uh, stealthily into some of the uh, conflict areas uh, around our region? It tells you that we have very serious problems that we need to deal with 
when it comes to checking the movement of goods and services through our ports, uh, as, as it were. I am already in consultation with my colleague, the Minister for Transport, and I would like us, uh, in not a distant future, to begin a new process, Brigadier Lonena, of reviewing and uh, re-registering, working with the agencies of the Ministry of Transport. We review and re-register afresh all private jetties uh, you know, and landing sites, because let's be very honest, especially in parts of uh, uh, coastal uh, uh, Kenya, uh, in uh, Lamu and, uh, and, and, and so on, some of those private jetties, my colleagues here from the security team can tell you, have given us challenges because they have been used to move illegal goods, they have been used to move drugs. So those over 627 private uh, jetties and landing sites. It's important that they be reviewed afresh, all of them, be registered by the Kenya Maritime Authority, and we have them inspected so that we understand who is actually operating a jetty and how they can confirm to us that they are doing the right thing with whatever jetties they have and private landing sites that they do as we go forward. The aim here is to ensure that we provide uh, security for our country, provide security for our people, and most importantly, we support business. The business of government is to support business. I, I dare add, to support clean business. You know, genuine and clean business that will support our economy. Because not all business is ultimately clean, and not all business is supportive. various government agencies. Let me begin by conveying warm greetings from the Attorney General and also his uh, apology at the start of this very important conference. Um, I, I think the background as to why this conference is important has been two trends and developments in our country. On the one hand, as a country, Kenya, we are fully engaged in developing our trade and investment policy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Uh, it gives uh, me great pleasure to welcome you all to the Major retired uh, Mr. Ele Mahalake, the Executive Director and Counterfeit Authority. I think many of you might be wondering what does prosecution have to do with know your customer and issues of import and export? Who's the head of our regional security team in Mombasa? I'm the regional police commander, Mr. Rashid. Uh, sincerely thanking you, DPP, for. Uh, inviting me to this meeting and thanking all of you for uh, coming along on the issues that we are dealing with today. Uh, I feel greatly honored uh, to be in this, in this uh, conference this morning. Uh, synergies that always present challenges to us in the security sector in terms of tackling a myriad of crimes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, 